Here is a very important question from test point of view. You need to find equation of a parabola with radical roots. The question is, find the quadratic equation in standard form with roots at minus 3 plus minus 2 square root 5 divided by 6. Now the strategy here is to compare your root with the solution. So you know the quadratic formula. In the quadratic formula we have x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? So that is really the root of any quadratic function and they have two roots. And if you compare this with the given equation, you can see what is b equals to. So from comparison, you can say b is equals to 3, right? Minus b and minus 3. So if you compare, b is 3. So we get b equals to 3. And what is a equals to? 2 times a is 6 and therefore a equals to 3 for us also, right? So a is also 3 for us. And uh, how about b square minus 4 is c? Now b square minus 4 is c is something within the radical. Here we have written 2 square root 5. So we'll rewrite this and we can rewrite this as minus 3 plus minus square root of. If I take 2 inside, it becomes 4. And so we have 40 here. Do you see that? divided by 6 and so we have 40 inside so 40 is equals to b square minus 4ac if you see we know b and a we can find c from here and then we can get our quadratic equation will be in the form of y equals to ax square plus bx plus c in this equation we know a and we know b and we want to find what c is right so we can solve for c equating b square minus 4ac as 40 and then solve for c. So let's do that part. The strategy I think is clear for you, right? b square minus 4ac equals to 40. It's a very neat strategy. Now in this equation, we'll substitute the values of b and a. b is 3, a is also 3 for us. So b is 3. So we get 3 square here minus 4 times a which is 3 we are left with c equals to 40, right? 3 squared is 9 minus 12c equals to 40. And from here we can find what c is, right? So we have minus 12c equals to 40 minus 9, which is 31, right? And c is therefore equals to 31 divided by 12 minus. So that is the value of c for us. Now once we know the value of c, we can always substitute it here and get our equation. And so we get y equals to a is 3, so 3x squared plus b is also 3, 3x plus c which is minus 31 over 12. And that is how we can solve such questions. I hope you find it interesting and very useful to write down equations from the given roots. Well, the other option could have been that since these are the roots, then you could have expanded this term, say y equals to x minus one of the roots which is which is minus of 3 plus so use one at a time 2 square root 5 over 6 right that is first root and the second will be x minus of the other root which is with minus sign minus 3 minus 2 square root 5 over 6 so when you expand this I mean let me make a bigger bracket when you expand it, you will get your answer. But see the amount of effort. If you do the way we did just now, you can do it without big calculations. Do you understand? So this is much preferred method than the standard method which is being used for normal roots, not the radical roots. If the roots are normal, then, I mean not with such radicals, then this is a better method. Since that will boil down to only uh, y equals to x minus x0, the first root, I should say x1, times x minus x2, the second root. And that is much simpler if x1 and x2 are integers. But if they are radicals and things like we have here, it may become complicated. I hope you appreciate the method of doing such problems. And it will definitely save a lot of time for you in the test paper. Thank you and all the best.